This is Eagle Al, and today I will be playing Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, and Stephen A. Smith reaction to the Cowboys loss. And also, the NFC East got trashed today, or this week, I should say. But let's get straight into it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're just the gift that keeps on giving, you know? They're just the gift, they're just the gift that keeps on giving. I keep trying to tell y'all. You don't want to listen. Cowboys the best team in the NFL. Cowboys the best team in the NFL. I'm telling you, Stephen, Cowboys the best team in the NFL. They didn't even lose to an eagle. They lost to a cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow on first take. You hear? There. You know, it's Sunday. Time on a tradition. Some people like to go work out on a Sunday morning. Some people will get up early, go to church. Some go to sporting events. NFL football game is a, is a staple on Sundays. Tailgate. Some people watch football at home, invite family and friends over, have a good old time. But me, my Sunday tradition is jumping on this shea by La Portier at the Cowboy Lost. Now you see, I ain't got but a swig left. They've been doing a lot of losing the last two years. I asked y'all a simple question a couple of weeks ago. What happens when you don't get pick sixes, you don't get scooping scores, your uh, special teams don't score touchdowns, and your defense can't shut teams out? We saw what happened today. More of that to come. Now, the first week, it was because of the rain. That's why you didn't score red zone touchdowns. The next week, it was because the Jets have an outstanding defense. This week, what's your excuse? You see my dog happy. Even tight man happy that y'all lost. You happy, Titus? You happy? He said he happy. Now, I got a sneaky suspicion. I'm going to have to crack up another bottle. So, Shea by Laportier. Because I see some... Some roadblocks, some hiccups along the way for y'all this season. Cowboys, y'all still them boys? Y'all ain't me. All right, you see their reactions, more comical, Skip Bayless with the just silent. Then you got Shannon Sharp give a little explanation, which I agree with. And you know Stephen A with the classic Stephen A laugh. But um, yeah, man, what I have to say about the Cowboys, and let me speak on the NFC East in general. So first, the Cowboys. Cowboys, no matter who is out, you got to win that game. You got to win that game. You are an inferior team to that team. And um, what that game proved to me is the same thing I've been saying. The first game, the second game, leading up to the third game. Hey, the red zone offense is trash. Even Cowboy fans probably, probably would agree with me with that. B, what do you do if that defense doesn't dominate? Can that shoot it out? That couldn't shoot it out with Josh Dobbs. Imagine when he played a Jalen Hurts, his other world. Or imagine when he played, I believe they played the Dolphins or the 49ers. Can that shoot it out? And so far, he showed me no. And shout out to the Kaiser Whites, the Andre Saturays, um, Kayvon Wallace. Like those all former Eagles balled out today. Um, but yeah, man, that showed who he was. He's not that good in the clutch. He need everything to be perfect. And everybody been saying that since the rookie year. You need a dominant running back. You need the receivers to be dominant. Um, the defense to get some turnovers, even give them some points. 
Again, what happens when the defense doesn't give you any points? You don't do what you did against the Giants on special teams. Because, like like I said, the Giants game, y'all blew them out 40-0. to zero, But I'm like, the offense was mediocre. Well, we beat them 40-0. to zero. Okay, you play Zach Wilson. I'm like, yeah, the offense is mediocre. Well, they got the best defense in the, in, in the league, okay? Beat the Cardinals, who showed they can put up points. The problem with the Cardinals, they couldn't close games. Cowboys came out there with no heart. All the heart they supposed to have, they supposed to win it for Trayvon Diggs and all this and all that. They played with no heart. Cardinals had heart. Cardinals just simply outplayed them. Now, same thing. I'm going to go into Washington. Washington, show me everything I already knew. Play up against some good competition. Can't see him how he'll do it. Absolutely not. To me, he take too many hits. He will make boneheaded throws. He will turn the ball over for sure. I believe all three games he turned it over. He got lucky the first two. But this game, Buffalo not playing because people kept calling Buffalo frauds, frauds, frauds after the first loss. And they've been on a tear these last two games. So they got destroyed 37-3. And again, it just showed me who they are. And we already knew they were frauds like. They are two and one, and that's the best case scenario for them. Because personally, they supposed to be, they they supposed to be zero and three. You know that comeback on Denver, but Denver just lost seventy to twenty. Uh, Cardinals couldn't figure themselves out, but Cardinals defense was dominant. But the offense could get it going because Josh Dobbs don't even know his personnel. Got lucky those two games, and you met a hungry Buffalo. And they ate. They feasted on you guys. So, again, man, shout out to the Buffalo Bills. And I tweeted something out this out, too. Can we stop the Josh Allen and Dak Prescott talks? Josh Allen is way better than Dak. And the Giants. I mean, I talked about that Thursday. Uh, the Giants, they had nothing without Saquon. They, gotta, they better hope Saquon can come back the next game. Because I'm hearing he might miss four weeks. They gonna, I don't even know who the teams are off the top of my head. They will lose every single game without Saquon. They need an offense, a offensive juggernaut guy. Daniel Jones is not the guy. That guy they got out the draft, he's a wide receiver three, but they want him to be the one. That Hyatt guy, he's not ready. Their defense is somewhat good. I mean, they did good against Brock Purdy, but... That offense just can't put up enough points. That's the problem with all three. Actually, if I think about it, Washington, Giants, and Cowboys simply can't put up points on the offensive side of the ball. That's all they problem. And to me, this look like the Eagles. The Eagles can take over the NFC East easily. We can start separating ourselves. We handle our business Monday, knock off Baker Mayfield, and let's keep it rolling because we do got some tough teams. The only team that like that that strike fear in my heart right now is the Dolphins. The Dolphins strike fear. I'm telling you, man, that offense that they have in Miami is very dynamic. And mind you, we played them week five, week six. We played them in a couple weeks. Yeah, man. That's the only team I fear right now. But the NFC for sure is ours. The 49ers don't look good. The Cowboys are frauds. Uh, everybody else is just everybody else. The Eagles can run the NFC again. We just have to handle our food. Keep handling our food. All the teams lost. All the teams lost in the NFC. We can stay undefeated, man. We can stay undefeated. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel, man? This is just my reaction to Sunday. I will, I, I'm sure, I will get my keys to victory tomorrow. And what we have to do to beat the Bucks. But one thing we have to do, and the first thing we have to do is beat the Bucks. Beat the Bucks. We go 3-0. and Everybody got a loss. Giants got two losses on a record. Let's handle business. But this is Eagle Al. I'm up.